Steve Holmes, Chairman and CEO of Wyndham World One. Okay. Uh, and why are you at Focusrite? What, what is it that you want to get out of the conference or talk about? You no, know, it's a great forum for getting together with people in the travel industry, particularly the online travel industry, and, and really online travel is where it's been at for some time. I guess the uh, audience in there is going to be very interested in, in how you're um, battling uh, the credit crunch, um, what you're um, trying to do to uh, keep business, grow business if possible. Are you expecting growth in business in the next year? We expect growth in the business by adding more hotels to our franchise system. We don't necessarily think that on the hotel side, RevPAR is going to be increasing. It's certainly going to be a challenging time. These economic times make people travel looking for values and trying to find those better values. Uh, but on the on the rental side, where we have a large presence in Europe, as well as we're drawing that into the U.S., uh, there certainly is a lot of room for growth, so we do expect growth there. And on our timeshare side, which is the third piece of our business, we're actually downsizing it a little bit, adjusting for the credit crisis that is out there, trying to take a little less exposure to the, to the, uh, to the credit market and being able to access credit for uh, financing the consumer receivables that we build. You've got multiple brands under the Wyndham name. Um, do you have multiple strategies for each of those brands, particularly looking at the online strategies for those? Absolutely. Every every brand has its own character, has, a, has its own loyal base of customers. Uh, Days In, for example, has a real, real large following in, in senior citizens. Uh, Super 8 caters very well to the uh, individual business owner who's looking to travel with travel on a value budget. Uh, each, each one has its own character. We do allow people to access all the brands in one place, but you can also in, access them individually where they each have their own brand character. So absolutely, giving the, giving the brand its own character, its own personality online is very important. How are you going to do that? Are you going to become much more niche in those different um, market segments? Well, we have been for years. We've been a little bit niche in, in uh, a number of different segments, and we tend to play those areas where our strength is hard for each one of the brands. So, yes, there is a little bit of, of focusing on niches. Uh, there also is the more broad brush, brush approach. Uh, we have uh, Wyndham Rewards, which is our loyalty program that umbrellas all of our brands. So there is some in interconnection between all of them, but they each all do have their own personality. Tell me a little bit more about your digital strategies there. How, how are you going to start um, really ramping up, getting more of those heads in the beds, as putting, they were saying this morning? Putting the heads in the beds. Well, uh, I think there's a couple of different approaches to it. One is go back to the personality of the brand. There is tremendous loyalty in, in brands, and some people don't seem to feel that the loyalty is as great as, as others do. We happen to believe in the brands. We believe in the loyalty that consumers have for those brands. So one way is just to make ourselves available out in the marketplace and allow the loyalty that our customers have for our brands to come towards us. The other side is to position ourselves as a value play. We generally play in the economy and mid-scale sector. Uh, you've probably heard it before, as people downsize, as people try to save money, they tend to quote-unquote trade down. We kind of think that's just trading smart. So they come to a lower price point, better value. We happen to be there for them. So it's both being in a place where we can provide that value and let people know that we're a great economic choice and also playing off the loyalty that we have with our with our loyal customer base. So is it all going to be about price basically? It sounds like if you can reach out to them, it's still going to be on price. It's not necessarily going to be on you know extras on the services you provide. No, it will be. It will be on extras and services. Price is not the way to compete in this market. You don't want to just drop your price. Uh, for the for the hotels who dropped their price dramatically post 9/11, they still did not recover to where it was pre 9/11. So just dropping dropping price to get market share is not the answer. The answer is to, as you said, package it, add some additional value for for your stay, put the hotel stay together with with a rental car or an airline ticket, or or put it together with tickets for a theme park and an amusement. So there are ways to package it that give greater value to the consumer. Do you see your, that package being offered um, online through your sites, or are you still looking for the OTAs to do that for you? Uh, all of the above. We do it ourselves, we do it through the OTAs, we do it through affiliate partners. Uh, we use all different mechanisms to get to the consumer and, and present them with an opportunity to have a real great value leisure experience. How do you differentiate your sites um, against some of your other competitors' sites? Is it about the functionality? Is it about the, uh, the niching of that content? How do you stand above the rest when someone like me is doing a search for a hotel in a certain area? 
it, it, that's a tough one because, as you know, it's very difficult to differentiate online when you're talking about a hotel room. It's like trying to differentiate for a rental car. A car is a car is a car. Well, to a lot of people, a hotel room is a hotel room. However, there are ways to differentiate. You can differentiate by the diversity of your diversity of your product. If you go to WyndhamWorldwide.com, you can get anywhere from a, a hotel room to a rental of a of a villa in Tuscany to a cottage in in the UK. We have all sorts of different type of product offerings. So we think the diversity of our offering gives people an opportunity to craft the experience as they like it. So I would say the biggest way we differentiate is by diversity. And all of that, of course, has a, um, a technical infrastructure um, to, to deliver that sort of uh, what, what someone's calling attribute-based shopping, I think they're calling it now. Um, is that infrastructure kept in one place, or do you allow the territories to, to do their own thing? Uh, it's, it's spread out. It's not all in one place, but it also isn't everywhere. Uh, it's been, for example, consolidated in Europe into one center where we do one, actually we're down to two centers. We started with about 12 centers in Europe. We're down to about two centers where most, most of the technology work is done. Uh, in the U.S. there's a couple of centers, but we've gone from acquiring many, many brands over the years to trying to become very efficient in managing those brands. Part of that efficiency is bringing it together, finding common platforms. Uh, for example, we now have 12 hotel brands. Uh, those 12 hotel brands had 12 different reservation systems before. We're now down to two reservation systems, and 11 of them are on one reservation system. So it's a, it's a process of becoming more efficient. That allows you to present the information to the OTAs and to other internet you know, sources, online sources, much easier. So if you could uh, think about the coming year, uh, what would be the, say, the three things that you would like to do, for either for your digital strategy or for the sites themselves, that you'd like to get in place and get working better this coming year? Well, that's a tough one. Top three things. I think I would probably say that we need to position ourselves to present what we have better, to allow the consumer to access our information better. Uh, we're right now launching for our RCI customers, which is our, our timeshare exchange business, a very, very neat, high, you know, really, really cool system for being able to go in and select where you want to exchange your, your timeshare vacations. That's a technology breakthrough that, frankly, the industry's needed for some time. Uh, being able to present the product in a more usable fashion to the consumer, I think, is the end goal. And being able to, at the same time, package it with some of our other diverse products so that you can have a, you can have a vacation where you're gone for six days, three's in a hotel, four's in a, uh, with another three days maybe in a rental product. So I think the way we package the information, make it easier for the consumer to get, those are the two main, main things that we focus on. Great. Thank you very much indeed. My pleasure.